As lawyer Lightfoot made history four years ago when she became the first black woman and the first openly gay candidate to be elected Chicago mayor, she battled through the pandemic, battled through the civil unrest after George Floyd's death, and the, tempen the uh, contentious relationship she oftentimes had with the Chicago City Council. Tonight, she made history again, becoming the first elected incumbent in 40 years not to win a second term. Obviously, we didn't win the election today, but I stand here with my head held high and a heart full. Mayor Lori Lightfoot telling supporters tonight that she was proud of her accomplishments, particularly proud of the Invest Southwest program that helped bring economic development to underinvested areas of the city. She said that must continue, and she said she will be rooting for whoever becomes Chicago's next mayor. And regardless of tonight's outcome, we fought the right fights, and we put this city on a better path. No doubt about it. Afterwards, I talked to Mayor Lightfoot, having covered her for five years since she first got into this race. She said this was a tough year for incumbents. She doesn't know what she's going to do next, she told me, but she has some ideas. She'll definitely be staying in Chicago, though. Her daughter is a freshman in high school. Tonight, her fall from power may be really a referendum on how she failed to get a handle on crime, which was the number one issue in this race. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.